Hello everyone and welcome back to part uh, 9 of this mini album tutorial and uh, we are now starting to uh, take some papers on this flap so I think I will fold this out so it's easier to work on so we will start on this side here and this measures six and a quarter by four and a quarter should you <laughs> yes and um, I've created a little yeah fold out here and uh, it's a magnet here and behind here so um, we are going to glue this down and it's a magnet here and it shouldn't be <laughs> So take this on first. So this is just for some journaling if you want to place a photo here. going to glue this down. Like so. For this side here, I cut a strip of uh, uh, four and a quarter from the twelve by twelve paper. So um, uh, this is not so long. This is then uh, five and three quarters, but it doesn't matter because we are going to uh, create a pocket here down. So we are going to glue that down. And uh, here is the pocket and I cut a strip of the paper so I, uh, if you see I cut it in the middle of the black here and this measure one and a half by five and a quarter and you fold it in like so. So this will fit on here. So we're going to glue that down. So we take this on later. And to go in these pockets, I've uh, cut out this image and backed it with a uh, black paper. And the same with this. So they are plain on the back. And just cut out this frame with the butterflies inside. So these are going to go inside here. So here I've taken some, uh, some pop dots or 3D. 3D foam? No, 
dots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this will go on here. I think we can take it off. This will go inside here. Like so. And uh, this will close like this. And now we can open this page. So we are going to use these papers here. And this will go on this side, and this will go on this side. And um, if you see here, <laughs> you can see I cut it wrong, so I had to glue it on again with some tape on the back, but it doesn't show up. So I could made an, make a new one, but I didn't want to waste it. So I'm just going to use it. But first, we are going to take on some magnets on the back here. We want this to close with a magnet. So. One right here. So from one, this goes. So I just line the papers up so I know I get it right. And they go close. So we glue this on first. As well, and let it dry a bit, like so. And we will start with the, this side. And, uh, this paper is also a bit too short, but it doesn't matter because uh, we are going to have a pocket here as well. I forgot something. I have to take on the magnets first. <laughs> so. Place this here. Center. 
so we change it and take this first on here. Like so. Some with a new glue in here. And we try again. I have to line it properly up with the ends here because the red paper is a bit smaller. Here we go. Now it should be right. <laughs> so now we can glue this one down. And here I made a pocket and I cut out uh, the paper. I followed the line here and just glue it down on the ends here around so it creates two pockets really here. Hope you can see that. And then I score it and then I put it on the paper and uh, I scored it around and then I cut around after. So uh, it's uh, much eyeballing here, but you can measure it and uh, and uh, cut it if you want. But try to line this image up with the or these pockets and the image here with the papers. So. When I make pockets like this, I also take multi mat on that. Like so. And then I created some tags. Here's one. It's plain on the back. This will go inside here and I fussy cut out this bicycle and I uh, took my marker and uh, drew a line around and uh, put this paper behind like so and plain on the back. So these are going to go in this pocket here but we leave it a bit so it can dry. And we are going to work on this side, so we think we can take off this now. So now you can see here, the magnet is working. So here I have cut out some papers and I took uh, a lace and glued it behind here. And then I uh, took another piece of paper and um, to back the, the lace and the two inches here because we are going to have two tags inside here and some inches around and now I see I've lost my magnet and I have to make sure it's the right way and should be like that, yes so we just put it back on again 
maybe we shall take some glue on that so it will hold fast on this side on the page. Yeah. off again and where is it? <laughs> Disappeared here. Gone far away. Well then we have to find a new one. It will hold till we get stick it down. Here is a magnet. <laughs> tags to go inside. Like so. so we're going to stick them inside here. And here this one again is uh, from uh, the Tim Holtz and I just poked a hole inside here. The same as we it's the same die as uh, this one. is drying. So here I have fussy cut these two out. <laughs> I can't remember the name, it's not butterfly. Uh, it's uh, still here, I can't remember what it's called. But I have um, um, distressed it a bit with the vintage photo and I crackle painted in the middle here. So I think they look really nice. So these are going here, and then um, here is a photo mat, and I take some uh, Graphic 45 uh, band here, and uh, this on the back, and uh, this is going to slide inside here. I first got this out, and uh, I take in glossy accent in the middle of the eye, and uh, around here. All the way it's a crackle accent, but nothing in the middle. And it's really shiny. 
and then I backed it with black paper and left this on the side so this will create a pocket so we can uh, pick this inside and glue it down So I poked a hole here and a chain here. So I think this is dry now, so we can take the paper on. So it's magnet, so it's hard to get open here, like so. So now this will go inside here. Yep. So we're going to turn this around. And glue this paper on here. Be careful so I don't glue it all down. If I have something to put in here. Make sure it's not going to stick all down. Dragonfly it is. <laughs> I think I want them about like that. And we are going to use this paper down on the bottom side. So it will match. I'm not sure if I'm going to glue this down or just hang it because it's magnets here so it will hang by itself. So I think I'll just leave it like that. 
so now we have uh, finished the flap and uh, in the next episode we are going to um, assemble this uh, page here and uh, bind it with the other two pages so thank you so much for taking the time to watch and again I wish you a happy and great day bye bye